Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, this is pretty unlike me to buy this, but we're going to be checking it out today. We're going to be setting this up and seeing how well it works. Um, we're actually unboxing an Android phone. I've been an avid iPhone user for years. I'm not switching to Android, but what I am doing is getting this Android phone. That way I can have a redundant internet connection at my house. So there's actually a really cool piece of software that I found a few years back, and that should allow me to get a secondary backup internet connection um, for my home network. We've got a power adapter here. This thing is refurbished from Amazon. The phone is, I should say. Um, so this phone that we're going to be using is jank at best. I'm going to be cleaning this thing, sanitizing it from wherever it's been. I've never bought a refurbished product in my life. Um, and this phone is absolutely massive, but um, hopefully this works, and hopefully it does what I'm looking for. Uh, I bought this one because it was not only $80, but also because it had 5G, and um, the phone line that I have, like I have a spare phone line, and that phone line also has a 5G access on T-Mobile. So I'm hoping that I can get all of this stuff to work together and provide me some um, redundant 5G internet at my house. I'm using this phone right here. So this is slightly odd. I've actually set up the phone now. It does seem, by the looks of it, that I do have internet without um, connecting or without getting anything from Verizon. So if everything is working as expected now. The speed should be pretty slow right now because I'm not in a great spot for cellular reception. Um, although it does seem that I am getting pretty decent speeds, about 50 megs per second, which honestly for a backup internet is not that bad. So now we're going to take a look at this software called PDA Net. This is what I used to use uh, to get the internet from the phone to the computer without having to do any hotspots or anything because this T-Mobile plan does not support hotspots. Um, so so um, we're going to download the APK directly just because I think it's blocked on the Play Store, although I could be wrong, I don't remember. We're going to open up the APK. Go into settings and allow an APK from um, Chrome. If we go back in here, I don't know where my downloads are. Probably up here. Nope, I didn't mean to download. Okay, cool. As you can see, I don't use Android that much. So it says the file already exists, although I don't know where to find the file. We're downloading it again. Yes, open. Okay, so now we are installing the application. I'm sorry, this video has been so long so far and we've gotten nowhere. Okay, so the app is now installed. We're going to click Done. I'm not opening it yet because I do want to connect it to the computer first. So what we're going to do here on the computer is we're going to go to pdanet.co. We're going to download for Windows, the Windows client, and run the exe file here. Yes, we're going to run it. Uh, accept the agreement. Next. Now it says, please open PDA Net on your phone to enable USB mode. So we're going to unplug it from this computer, sorry, from this charger. Grab the cable that it came with, and I'll plug it into the computer. And we'll allow access. I just opened up the app. It looks the same as it did before. We're going to turn on USB tether. Uh, but we have to enable developer options first in the settings. So we're going to go into settings here, look up tethering. We're going to look up developer options. I can't find it in the settings, of course, so let's turn to Google. Now we're going to go to About Phone. We have to tap the build number seven times. This is stupid. I hate Android. We're going to go into here. Obviously, I'm going to have to blur this stuff out. Apologize. Uh, we need to tap the, what was it, device model build number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to re-enter in our password for the phone. And we are a developer now. That's cool. So let's turn on USB tethering. Now we need to go find developer options as well as the USB debugging. Yes. Now if we go back out into PDA Net, wherever it is, there we go. USB tether is now on. This is giving me memories from when I used to use this. We're going to click OK here on PDA Net. It's setting up the network driver. We need to install the device software. And now, as you can see, we are going to connect after installation with the USB mode. And we are connecting the phone down here. And we need to always allow. We'll click Allow. Uh, we'll click Continue here on the software. 
and we are connected. So in control panel, what we'll do is I'm going to switch this to the large icons, actually small icons. We're going to go to Network and Sharing Center. I think if we go here, so as you can see, the public network is the PDA Net Broadband Connection. If we go to our Change Adapter Settings, so we're going to go to Properties, Sharing. We're going to allow other network users to connect to this computer's internet connection. And we're going to, be going to give it the Ethernet interface. So we're going to click OK. And we'll give it Yes. So, theoretically, what this is doing is this is now routing the other Ethernet network interface on this PC to output from the PDA net connection. And the reason this works is because, and what this is doing essentially is it's taking the internet from the phone and putting it to the PC, and then it's outputting it through the Ethernet jack that you can then plug into your router. So I'm going to blur out my screen here. So bear with me for a second while I talk, but um, I believe if I go to my settings and my internet settings, I only have, yeah, I only have one connection on my UDM right now. On this interface, I'm going to give it the other connection. We're going to label this T-Mobile, and we'll click Apply Changes. And then I'm going to grab a network cable. And then as you'll see, I've got my phone here recording this just for now. I'm going to go into the rack here, open up the rack. I'm going to plug into port 8. need a second cable because it's not long enough. So as you can see here on the UDM, it has an IP address of 192.168.137.84 um, and it's from T-Mobile. So it is working as expected. Going to the dashboard here. As you can see, the internet is actually out from T-Mobile right now. That's because I just made some changes on the PC itself. Uh, but here in a few minutes, it should pop back up. As you can see, there we go. So We've got T-Mobile internet right here using zero megabits per second. Let's run a speed test. And as you can see, we're pulling about 20 megabits per second, which probably seems slow to you, and it does to me as well. But think about it. 20 megabits per second is better than not having internet connectivity at all. Um, I'd say it's honestly not a bad backup, uh, but it does seem like it's working, which is pretty cool. So um, I'm going to improve this setup, obviously, but I think for now it's pretty solid. It's going to hopefully give me some backup internet connectivity. Um, and that's about all for this video. So thanks for watching. If you try it yourself, let me know. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.